A less publicized Super Tuesday race was the primary race for the Texas State Board of Education. And you might say, well, why would I care about the Republican primary in the Texas State Board of Education? And I will tell you why, because one of the candidates that won on the Republican side was a woman named Mary Lou Bruner. Mary Lou Bruner happens to think that President Obama was a gay prostitute and apparently Republicans in Texas are okay enough with someone who thinks President Obama is a gay prostitute making decisions about their kids' educations. She put up a post on Facebook, which we will take a look at here, saying, Obama has a soft spot for homosexuals because of the years he spent as a male prostitute in his 20s. That is how he paid for his drugs. He has admitted he was addicted to drugs when he was young, and he is sympathetic with homosexuals, but he hasn't come out of the closet about his own homosexual, bisexual background. He hasn't quite evolved that much. Since he supports gay marriage, he should be proud of his background as a homosexual, bisexual. He is against everything else Christians stand for. He might as well be for infidelity. As Hemant Mehta writes, the Texas Freedom Network has even more background on Mary Lou Bruner, and it is nothing short of frightening. Let's take a look at that quote. Bruner has said evolution is a religious philosophy with propaganda supporting the religion of atheism, and that she says, uh, and that scientists have ignored and hidden evidence that humans and dinosaurs walk the planet at the same time. Bruner thinks slavery was a minor issue in the Civil War. In July of 2014, she wrote that historians were biased against the southern states and rewrote history books once everyone alive during the Civil War had died. She also thinks there's no need for Black History Month, Mexican American History Month, or any other formal recognition, formally, I think they mean formal recognition, of the historical contributions of minorities to the United States. Also, why does President Obama support LGBT equality? Because the president is gay himself. The most shocking thing, Lewis, isn't that people with these ideas exist. I mean, we've been interviewing people with these types of ideas for years on the program. The shocking thing is that she has defeated her Republican rivals by a pretty wide margin. She didn't end up getting 50% of the vote, so there's going to be a runoff with the second place candidate in May. But Republicans seem to be supporting this lunatic. This is an utter laughingstock. This is how you would parody what is happening with Texas, the Texas Board of Education. But this is an unfortunate and very real situation that we're dealing with. Yeah, I think if if I, as we say, were to accidentally have a kid and that kid were going to school, a public school in, in Texas, and this woman were to make the board, uh, Dave, I think I would have to withdraw uh, my child from Texas altogether. Uh, how could you not? This would push you to homeschooling, which is not something you would, you would otherwise be thrilled to do. If I told you that the Texas Republicans want a woman who thinks Obama was a gay prostitute on their board, board of education, you might assume it was a Saturday Night, Li Night Live skit, but then you might actually remember how the Texas Board of Education has gone a long way to ruining textbooks for the entire country with their boneheaded anti-science decisions. And unfortunately, some of the ideas of Mary Lou Bruner, I mean, the Obama was a gay prostitute thing, fine. That's not really part of the Texas Board of Education. But the anti-science stuff has been the calling card of the Texas Board of Education for years, and we've been covering it for years as well. Yeah, it doesn't seem to me that many of these people actually care um, about, I, I would say, about education. Uh, I mean, they just believe that their views should be forced upon kids. Um, well, I guess that's their view of education. Uh, that's what they call it. That's not what I call it. No, certainly not what anybody who is aware of science would call education. No doubt about that.